Welcome back to Satisfactory. Yes, I've had some comments from people wanting to see more of me getting the quartz and sulfur. Or at least, perhaps so they can find some quartz and sulfur in their games. So I thought I'd briefly show this, and then we go through and see what the research brings. So, first thing you want to do if you start in the same location I do is come over to your coal area. Remember we built this ramp of conveyor all the way down the side of this sort of... Um, well, I would say it's sort of a crater, but it's not really a crater. It's sort of a, a valley that goes out that way that you can't really see from up here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that path right there. Okay, so, um, yeah, we, we, you want to go here. You want to stand up on this side. And then we're going to go for sulfur first. Now, I've already put down a beacon to it, and uh, you'll be able to see it shortly. But um, I uh, I did the exploring, you know, I hope you can appreciate it. I don't want to put, like, hours of exploring on here. So, yeah, let's see where we actually find it. So if we come along this top edge right here leave the actual uh, edge of the, the crater, the, the valley, and we're just going to head through this green area to the northeast, and keep going, and it'll be quite obvious because there will be a tower in front of you, a rock tower. So you see it right here. Right on top of it, you can just about see some yellow, and I thought, ooh, that looks interesting. So I then built the you know usual foundations uh, up there for me to be able to jump. Although you can use something like a watchtower and then you know use that to shortcut this whole thing. But uh, the foundations will do for now, and uh, we'll see where we go to once I build some infrastructure on top of it. For the moment, uh, here it is, a nice yellow color, as you might expect from sulfur. Uh, whether you spell it with an F or a PH doesn't much matter to me. Uh, so yes, you can hold it and pick up some sulfur. Good. So I've already picked up some, uh, just enough for, well, presumably we need to do some research for it. So yeah, that should be good. Now, uh, what I've put in a beacon here, I always put down some beacons. So that's your first point. Your second point, we need to go back a little bit. So we need to go down to our coal area. So this one's going to be a bit of a longer explore section, but uh, it won't take too terribly long to get to the... Um, quartz, it's just not very easy to see. It's certainly not visible from a long way away. So here we are in the coal area. It doesn't really much matter which way you go from here. Uh, we're just going to be following the sandy area up the valley. And uh, there are some caves on the right hand side. You can ignore those. We're not, we don't need to go into the caves. Maybe they're a shortcut. I don't know. Um, but if we just follow this up and uh, there's a cliff wall ahead of us and you'll see there is a cave, first of all. Yep. We don't need to go in there, so don't worry. There's some gas in there. We just keep follow all the way for the sandy area. Here we are. So we're going to head up. And on the right hand side, we're going to get to like a little lake. It's going to have one of those, um, I want to say like Mercer spheres or whatever they're called. Work in progress items in it anyway. And uh, we can just follow that. So just get to the right hand side here. And then we need to bear right around here. And we should get to this little lake area. Uh, eventually. Uh, I want to say it's around here. Ooh, there's a power slug back there. Yeah, here it is. So once you get to this, just keep following this right hand wall and we're going to go past this. So we need to keep following this right hand wall and through here, we're going to get to a sandy area very shortly. I mean, that's how you know you're in the right area. Yeah, here we are. Large sandy area. We can just drop down. And you can keep following the cliff if you like, but it doesn't really much matter at this point. It's really open. Uh, you will get some um, some of the spitting mobs. I can't remember what, what they are actually called, but uh, yeah, they will attack you and shoot stuff at you. But you will find these two quartz spots over here. So I put down a beacon, and uh, that's in a pinkish color right there. Uh, pink because it's a pink quartz. All right, and again, we're going to go and pick up some more stuff here. Uh, when you pick up these berries, it'd be nice if it actually stacked into your hand. So if you have any developers watching, yeah, that's a good idea. Anyway, I'm going to pick up some quartz, probably about 150 again, just like the sulfur. I'm going to make my way back to the base and let's see if we can actually research this stuff or if there's any way to unlock it. And here we are back at home base and it's time. I just love the fact they actually changed this so we didn't have to put that in. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Sometimes, sometimes it's great. Okay, so in here we have now two new research items. We have sulfur and raw quartz, both of which take 25. So I've gathered 150. So why don't we just go for sulfur first? I guess that brings in explosives. Uh, in fact, no, let's go for... They're going to take 15 minutes each regardless. So let's just go for sulfur first. Yep, and begin analysis. 
Okay, I almost want to put down a second one of these and have them running parallel, but that, that's just me. Okay, so I'm going to need to skip forwards now. I'm going to just put away some stuff. And then what I might do is go and start running conveyor and power out there. The power should be relatively straightforward because we already have a line going out there. Um, the conveyors will be fine for um, sulfur. For quartz, however, it's going to need me to, to route them up that large sandy path and then around to the other side. So I'm going to need a bunch of stuff. Um, yeah, I'm going to go make a lot of stuff and we'll come back once the research is complete. Okay, apparently the analysis of sulfur is complete, so we're now able to start up the raw quartz one as well. And what is Nobelisk? Um, I don't know what that is. Hmm. Let's go and see if there's something to be made. Let me just start up the next research, though, first. Uh, let's grab some sulfur, and we will get that on the go. Sulfur... Oh, sorry. It was quartz next. <laughs> Already did sulfur. Um, you can go away again. And where's my quartz? There's some in my inventory. Uh, have I put some in here? Am I blind? Quite possibly. Hmm, where's my quartz? I had 150. Oh, hang on. There we go. Quartz. Start you up. Quartz, uh, shift click in and go. Okay, another 15 minutes to wait for that. Let's see if there's anything actually new in our hub terminal. So I've got fabric and object scanner stuff and a few of these are actually lit up so i wonder if there's new stuff color gun is not new medicinal inhaler and rebar gun are again not new but i would get oh hang on mm. if i do the rebar gun i would get an arm equipment slot is that just another hand slot or is that for a jetpack maybe we can get an extra slot for the jetpack by actually researching that would be nice um uh, medicinal inhaler explosives okay so we get inventory slots, we get an arm, invent uh, arm equipment slot, and we get, ah, the, here's what Nobelisk is. So, can be used with a Nobelisk detonator to blow up cracked boulders, vegetation, or other vulnerable targets. Yes. And we get a scanner update for sulfur. So we should definitely go for this. It requires uh, some rotors, some bits and pieces, stuff that I shouldn't be too hard to, to come by. However, I am going to be short on copper. I am using up all the copper in our computer production so we could stop that uh temporarily and get that done so this is something i should probably select as a milestone and is there anything new in tier six well the jetpack we're still going to get to that needs computers but uh, those two are actually taken care of uh motors i should have computers i should have more of uh the heavy modular frames thank you very much to a commenter who said i think my line was jammed and it was uh, basically, the encased beams uh, constructor, uh, I think it's this one, is it? Yes, encased industrial beams, uh, assembler, sorry. Uh, the concrete wasn't coming through to it, so the concrete was just still outside. And around about here on this line, uh, just as it entered, there was some iron and wood on the line. I don't know how that ever happens, but that's how it was anyway. So that would mean that this machine was jammed up, so that should now no longer be the case. Of course, it's not very fast. From memory yeah we've got 12 of them but um yeah i can go and just grab them whenever i want and we have a lot there so I mean, there's lots of stuff down to construct and you want that jetpack mainly for exploration it's really handy to be able to get up cliffs with it um <laughs> or rather jump down cliffs and not die uh or take damage that's the, the more important part so yeah and you get plenty of green slugs by exploring around that way so uh, now I'm going to need to just get uh, everything this milestone. So let me just go and grab a few things. I'm going to add this to the list here and uh, we'll see what that uh, what that brings. OK, and that's all the goods gathered and we should be able to then just shift click them in. So those here is our rotors and off it goes. Pod can go away A milestone unlocked. So we now should be able to make a bunch of other stuff uh yes we got gunpowder okay so that's probably gonna need i would imagine coal and yep sulfur um we're missing the third ingredient but uh yeah that's not in game so we can ignore that 
Uh, so, yes, um, that's something we should probably think about. However, I'm going to need personal equipment to use gunpowder. I need some kind of rifle. Is that unlocked with this or is, in fact, have we got any more slots? No, I don't yet. Okay. Um, we've got gunpowder here. We don't have anything else that's new other than the Noblesque and Noblesque detonator, which needs the object scanners. Okay. So I'm going to have to make some of those uh, when I need it. I don't really need it now. There, as I said before in the last episode, there is a Caterium node that's underneath a boulder over there. And there is one blocking a sort of road area that I keep falling off um, on the way to the oil. But uh, there's none nearby that I actually really need it for at the moment. But uh, your situation may vary. You may have uh, an, an immediate need for it. So, yep, feel free to use that as you will. How are we getting along with our other research? Uh, if we just go in here... Are you finished? You are finished. So Roll Quartz is now complete. And, and do we have anything else? So we have a Crystal Oscillator. Interesting. We're going to need to make 10 of those to be able to research them. And maybe that will head towards a map of some kind. Well, let's see where that actually goes. So Crystal Oscillator. Um, where am I going to make it? Can I make it in here? Crystal Oscillator? No. Hmm. Is that going to be made by something else? By a, a machine? Crystal oscillator is an electronic oscillator circuit that uses the mechanical resonance of vibrating crystals to recreate an electrical signal with a precise frequency. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I need to figure out how to actually make one of those. One second. And as usual, it's in our hub station. So in tier four here, you'll see Explorer. And first of all, we get a map. <laughs> Great. Uh, we get quartz crystals, okay, so radar and quantum technology, so we'll need to be able to build radar towers to fill out our map, I imagine. Crystal oscillators, the Explorer vehicle, which is remarkably agile, according to Santos. <laughs> I've seen some videos of people climbing near vertical surfaces with this thing. Yeah, and then we'll be able to scan for raw quartz as well, so we need to select that as a milestone. And that's a few things that we, uh, well, we can't actually put in until it's uh, until it's done. Um, but we're going to need motors. We're going to need more rotors. We're going to need beacons, which are relatively straightforward, and modular frames. Okay, so most of the stuff we're fine on. Ro uh, rotors will take me a little bit longer because they just take, they're a little bit slower to craft for the way my layout is. And uh, we'll come back for that. There we go, we now should have enough to go for this. Press another big red button and you should get access to a bunch of stuff. There we go, new email received. X to open, um, okay, milestone quartz one. Um, quartz base parts unlocked along with the map of your fix it approved designated zone in need of charting. The new vehicle is aimed at efficient travel speed and all terrain handling. Yes, okay, so M, do we have any kind of map button yet <laughs> options controls and do i have any map um i don't see a map but oh hang on z yes uh i seem to remember actually looking at this a map look an in-game map with our beacons on it good 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 so yeah we can see our stuff and more importantly you can use this to follow where i am versus where you are once you unlock it so you'll see our existing beacons some drop pods there is our sulfur and that's our sort of map with the uh, the pool on it and then all the way around there is our quartz so hopefully that's easier for you to see as well i had also explored over here um there is a really really tall waterfall sort of around about here uh, sort of um here-ish, I want to say. Yeah, here. And then I explored all the way around there in the hopes of finding quartz and sulfur over here. Never really found it, but uh, that's fine as well. But it's nice to know that it already tracks where I've explored to a large degree. So I sort of like that. I may need to go and clean up these uh, these various beacons um, once I've actually been to the places. I may have to go and collect them again. But no, quite like it. Good. So the map, I'm probably going to remap that. Sorry, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to remap that to M. It just, uh, yeah, it's just far, far more obvious than Z. Uh, where are we on map? M. There we go. Apply. Yes. Fine. Right. Uh, is that working? Yes, it is. Good. 
All right, so now we're able to make quartz-based stuff. So why don't we have a look at the recipes first of all, and let's see, do I have any extra slots yet? No, I don't have any extra slots. Uh, do I have them in here for crafting manually? For the, yes, I do. Crystal oscillator, it's gonna take uh, 10 quartz crystals, and some cable and some reinforced iron plate. Well, the quartz crystals are easily enough because I've already got some in my inventory. So I'll just make 10, is it 10 per quartz oscillator? It is, so I'm gonna need 100 quartz crystals which is 200 quartz. Thankfully, uh, I've already got the mine set up. I just don't have, or just haven't been and collect, connected the conveyors yet. I have already done it for sulfur, and it seems to be temporary graphics on the sulfur line. Um, it's sort of, it's not even this kind of detailed. It's sort of just a gray blob, really. But um, yeah, so we'll need to see how long that takes. Uh, do I have anything to do for another milestone yet? So tier six, gas mass jetpack. Check back, we could sort of do. I am. Uh, I have another 30 of these in my inventory, so I could just dump them in. No, I can't because it's the pods away. Tch, never mind. Um, yeah, so I have those. I have most of the computers already, and the motors I've got plenty of, so that should be an easy one to get going. That'll give us some more inventory slots. And the gas mask will help with some navigation to some areas where there are crashed pods that I can't get to at the moment, but uh, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, this seems an easy one to actually get, even though I don't need the rebar gun, it's sort of, it's not very good damage by comparison to to, the, to our vibro sword or whatever it's called. And, um, is there anything in here? No. Okay, so we've unlocked most of the stuff. Uh, this is our current milestone, and then we'll get that complete as well. And then we'll get the quartz. I'm going to go and get some more off the line, and then I'm going to research this quartz oscillator to see what it actually unlocks for us. And probably the Nobelisk as well. We need to craft some of that. Is that easier to actually craft? Nobelisk. Uh, are you in here? Are you in here? Oh, I thought it was. Maybe it's only craftable from a building. Seems very odd, though, if that's the case. Hmm. Ah, here it was. It was in uh, my personal equipment sort of workshop. So for the Nobelisk, we only need five of it. And uh, we're going to need to basically make beacons and gunpowder to do it. Gunpowder is coal and sulfur. So I've got the, the sulfur. I don't have a stock of coal around, even though I probably should. I uh, probably should keep some... Oh, hang on. Is that coal? It is coal. <laughs> I do have a stock of coal around. And we have some sulfur as well. So let's see if that is able to deal with it. Yeah, let's grab some more sulfur. And let's craft some gunpowder up. So we got enough for 50 gunpowder. I need enough for, so I need five. So I'm going to need maybe 25 of this, which uh, should not take long to craft. And uh, that will be done. We'll use that to craft up Nobelisk. Nobelisk can then go into research and we'll see where that takes us. So the Nobelisk is done. We're going to need five beacons. So we've got enough for that. Five. And uh, why are you only three? Ah, I need some... Um, Still pipe. That should be should be easy. So I've got um, I've got that on a line. It's down here somewhere. Yep. Let's just grab it from here. Hundred steel pipe. I have shut off some of the things that were making motors, by the way, because motors uses up a lot of copper, and I have a large stock of motors. We haven't really needed them that much, and uh, since we uh, stopped sending stuff to the space elevator, and I don't think this is unlocked tier seven and eight. We should actually go and check that, shouldn't we? to make sure that there is uh, nothing going on there. I don't think there is, but uh, it may be worth checking. So two more Nobelisk. One, two. And we can put that into the research and see where that takes us as well. So in you go. Nobelisk research. Um, five, and that will take 30 minutes to actually complete. We also need the crystal oscillator, of course, and uh, supercomputers, but uh, that's... Pretty much a lot of our research actually done now. Uh, we just need a couple more things for those. So now I just need to go and get some, um, go and get some more crystal off our line. And in fact, to do that, I'm going to need to take some stuff with me because I need an actual, um, I need a conveyor belt, and that's going to need me to take lots and lots of this, which is fine, even though I've used this for a miscellaneous um, sauron chest. Ignore that. Ignore the man behind the curtain. It's fine. And I've got everything else. Right, off to cable and bring that crystal back down towards our factory. Now, for the sulfur, I'll show you where I've actually left it. 
but I, I left it up with the coal because it's ideal with coal, as you might imagine, to make gunpowder. So if we need gunpowder on mass, I don't have to bring it all the way over here to the factory when there isn't coal being brought over here as well. So you'll see I brought this line in right here. And it's sort of ideal in that I could put a splitter right about here and we could feed sulfur and coal into whatever we actually want. And we've got two parallel lines. And I'm probably going to bring the um, the quartz all the way down here as well, uh, to at least to this point, because uh, there's loads and loads of room here we could fill up with lots of other stuff. And, um, yeah, it doesn't interfere with our main factory that's building machinery kind of stuff. We'll see if we need it, though. So I'm off to get more conveyor done, and I'll see you shortly. So I brought the, bro the quartz down parallel to this sulfur, and because we don't quite know where we uh, need this just yet, but we do actually want to store it, we're going to get a, quite a bit out of those mines. We're going to just put them into buffer boxes or, or regular storage containers for the moment, and we can just quickly run back here. It's not very far from the base at all, just to grab some when we need it. And I should probably just take some more sulfur while we're at it. As you can see, this is the artwork for the sulfur. It's very pixelated, well, not pixelated, um low resolution and that's the word i was looking for but uh the you know the, the stuff here is easy enough to as you see the icons are, are done just the in-game stuff is not yet quite there but uh i'm happy to play on the experimental build to to get that going so hopefully you guys are on that experimental build as well at least to try this out unless you're really optimizing your your existing factories hopefully everyone's gonna everyone's gonna try this out so back over here we should then be able to make and i'm trying to resist the urge to jump onto this thing now that we can actually walk onto it uh we need, i should be able to make that quartz so i'm just going to put the sulfur away for now uh into this box and i've just moved our truck a little bit further away we're going to get the explorer fairly soon anyway so it's worthwhile doing all right, so quartz crystal, we can make a lot. So the for the for, the, uh, for these we need ten each, and we're going to need uh, lots of them. So I may as well just convert all of these into quartz crystals, and we'll come back once I've got some into crystal oscillators. Okay, so Nobelisk has now completed research, and we can pop in ten crystal oscillators. They're a bit of a pain to make because you need to make reinforced iron plates. Why crystal oscillator needs reinforced iron? I don't. Yeah, he just needs shielding um, and uh, the temperature control of them, I think. In fact, no, not even that. For an oscillator, you just need a little bit of surroundings on, on the circuit board. You don't need much else there. Anyway, uh, in-game stuff. Begin analysis, away we go. I shouldn't question things too much. And uh, there we go. So we can go and have a look, see what the, the um, that previous research has now unlocked for us. Hopefully it's unlocked something new. Uh, nothing in tier 1. Tier 2, no. Tier 3, no. Tier 5, the rifle. The rifle. Yes, that's going to need 50 Nobelisk. Hmm. Okay, it's going to need modular frames. Those are easy enough. And copper and cable. It's mainly the, this uh, Nobelisk that we're going to need a lot of. I think that's going to have to wait for another day. But that having a... <laughs> it's a hand slot, good. And it needs ammo, but uh, that is good. If we can get rid of those various spitters, if we have a ranged weapon that is good, I'm I'm much happier for it. And in tier six, of course, the current milestone, which is the jetpack. So I don't think I have enough for that. Let me just actually, um, in fact, waiting for resources. Uh, yeah, we only have 30 modular frames, but we can put some of the rest in. Uh, computers, I can get rid of some of those out of my inventory. And then motors, we should have plenty of. So, yeah, let me just go and quickly grab and see if there is enough for this. So, you need 150 motors. And I think they're in this box. Yes, so we have plenty of motors. It's one of the reasons why I shut that line down. It was consuming lots of resources. And let's see what we've got here. We This is our heavy modular frames, of course. Modular frames are shut down. I guess so we've got 45 there that's actually enough okay and modular frames did i shut the line down for some reason i probably did just want to have gathering resources to stop it from uh consuming base resources that's the main thing let's go and quickly check whether i have the um the computers because i shut that line down as well to make sure i backed up the copper i need lots and lots of copper and uh, a couple of wire that is and uh, i wasn't getting enough um so the main thing we need to do for that is upgrade that to a tier 2 miner 
And then we need to add more processing machines to convert the ingots into wire because I've only got one really of that because I was previously not using that much copper. Now I am. So uh, yeah, we're going to have to improve that or reroute it. Uh, 31. That takes us to one shot. Really? Uh, what do you actually need? Uh, you are short of circuit boards, I think. Yes. Okay. And you're now producing. Fine. I had enough circuit boards in my inventory. Let me wait for that to actually finish, and then we should be able to finish this off with uh, getting the jetpack, which will be a much, much improved um, exploration. And with our final jetpack, <laughs> final computer for our jetpack, I should say, done, we should be able to then send that up as well. So, big button, and off you go. Jetpack, good. And do I get any more body slots? No, I do not. Oh, but I do get another hand slot, so that's good if the jetpack is a hand slot item. Let's see whether it is. Uh, jetpack. Okay, what do we actually need for this? We need 50 rubber. We need circuit boards. I better go and rob them back from that. Uh, and plastics. We actually should be able to get that done if I can rob these circuit boards back fast enough uh, before it actually uses them all. Let's just grab them back out of here. Uh, Yep, <laughs> sorry, uh, we don't need you. And I think I have a number of the other bits and pieces. Ugh, really? Damage? Not very much damage. Um, we have the rubber and plastic, maybe. What else do we actually need for this? So, uh, I need 50 plastic. I need uh, 25 cable. Cable is easy enough to make. Uh, I don't have any around, but uh, it's only 25 of it, so that'll be really fast. 25, and then we just need the plastic, and that's going to be up there somewhere, I would imagine. I think it's uh, one of the ingredients for the computer line anyway, so let's just take a look. Yeah, here it is. Uh, in fact, yeah, we've got plenty in there, so I'll just grab that. And... You decide not to actually cause any damage if I drop off on this, on that side, but on this side, damage. No idea. Just on the very edge of it. Fine, and that means I can get a jetpack. Oh, here we go. And done. Okay, so we have a jetpack. Good. And it's a body slot item. Of course it is. Even though the jetpack research gives us a hand slot item which makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Uh, developers, please change this. This is just wrong. Wrong. And you can't even put them in... You can't even hold it in your hands. It's just weird. Okay. But uh, we can then use it up. Of course, it does consume fuel. So that is another little reason why we need the fuel line. But... Uh, and it's not going to recharge until I actually have more fuel. Um... Why don't I just go and grab that from the fuel? Oh, it's so slow without the, these, though. You need both. You honestly, honestly need both. I'm sorry. No excuses. Uh, let's have a look. Where's my fuel line? So, is that... That's not fuel. That's, that is fuel. Is it just fuel that it takes? It doesn't really say. Uh, let's just grab some from here. And if I just swap that back over... Yes, it's, it is just fuel. Okay, so we can just grab the output from this and make sure we've got some in our inventory. Uh, and that will be that. So we've got our fuel manufactory. Good. All right, everything is going very, very well. So I think I will finish for this episode right there. And I'll just see how... how oh, it's so slow. <laughs> it needs to be more. And uh, yeah, we, we need the improved jetpack that gives like true flight. Um, yeah, full Iron Man stuff. Um, and that's okay, but it's not really going to recharge in the air until you land. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, well, okay. So that's it for the today. Feel good to get a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hopefully you've seen how we can use quartz and sulfur. We're going to carry on with that next episode and take a look at, um, the, well, the results of this research that's ongoing. I think I've got 22... I've got 14 minutes left on the Crystal Oscillator, and we'll see where that leads. We've got the supercomputer to actually do, and then various different crash sites to get more alternate recipes. And then we've probably got to get uh, some sort of rifle production going, or at least ammunition 
production going. I'm not sure if... Uh, is ammunition available in here now? No, it's probably going to be... Uh, in fact, it needs to be on... Yeah, we need to actually research it yet. Uh, sorry. We need to actually um, send off for it yet in Tier 5. So I do actually need to get 50, uh, 50 Nobelisk. So that's gunpowder production, it looks like. It's going to need beacons, and it's going to need steel pipe. Steel pipe we're already producing. Gunpowder, we're going to need a new production line, so we can put that over near our steel, and then just box up the gunpowder or something. We don't need that much of it. And we'll see you that next episode. So hopefully if you join, join me for that, feel free to put comments in the comments below if you've got any suggestions about everything, anything you've seen. If you've seen any more resources closer than what I have, uh, by all means. Now we should be able to scan for them. So they are in here. So we've got quartz and sulfur. So I don't think uh, if we just scan just to close out. Let's see if there's anything closer than the ones I found. And that's the one sulfur there. So you can see it popped up. Uh, there's one over there. That's a kilometer away. This one's 700 meters away. So that is the closest to this point. There's another one that way. And then if we just go to raw quartz and see if there's anything closer than those two right there. So it should pop up if there is anything closer. Oh, wait. Yes, there is. Uh, oh, 1,500, 1500 meters that way. That one's 1,700. Okay, but it's closer to my coal, which means it's closer to my power lines and everything else. So that's all being brought in. Um, it may well ping other stuff further away, and this may be worth think while thinking about going to that one. If we needed quartz uh, long term, we probably don't. All right. Uh, oh, and even more. <laughs> 3.6 kilometers away. That's far too far. All right, so thanks a lot for watching, as always, and we'll see you next time for some more Satisfactory.